Hello guys, this is Ryan Ho back with another video. And today I'm recording with my webcam because RTX voice requires you to be using a computer right now in order to use it. So it's easiest to use my Logitech 922 web camera. And yes, and this is the voice right now, actually with RTX voice on. So you probably can't even hear this big fan in my background. And let me show you what it sounds like with it off. So this is a sound of my voice with the Blue Yeti microphone with no adjustments and RTX voice off. Now it probably sounds pretty noisy now that you can hear the fan and everything running in the background. And I think that's the beauty of this thing. I don't have to change anything and it just works. Now let's improve the audio. So this is what the RTX voice looks like. You can see it's very simple. Input device, your microphone, you can basically mute what you're saying through it. So I choose my Yeti microphone. You choose if you want to remove it or not. And then the level of suppression. And then on your output device, you can do the same thing. You can change the output device, remove the background noise. And this kind of means if someone has a bad sound and it's coming into you, like someone has a terrible mic and they're make a bunch of noise in the background. You could put this on and then you don't have to hear all their terrible noise, but you can still hear their voice. So I think it's a very useful for not just you when you send your sound out, but when you're receiving sound as well, that this is very powerful at. Now we're gonna turn back RTX voice on. As you can see, it sounds a lot better. And I think the practical application of this RTX voice is not just live streaming though, but I think if you do stuff like unboxing videos and stuff, I think that would be like a great advantage. So like, for example, if I have this, I'm like, when you open it, it makes so much noise. I always have this problem where I'm opening something and it just makes that screeching noise or you thump it on your table. So you just slam it on your table and you hear that sound. When you're opening it, you hear all that scratchy stuff next to the microphone. And when you pull it out, you hear that sliding sound, which sometimes sounds good, but you hear that sound and then you open it up. You're like, oh, look, here's the product. And every single time you put something down, it makes noise. And then you take out your product and then you put the box on where it thumps on the table, but you can't hear that. In fact, if I'm hitting this table, you probably can't even hear it. And then your earphones, they, I sometimes hear them subtly creaking next to it and stuff when you're turning them. And all this sound that's just unpleasing to the ear for the viewer, is just gone without so extra like editing or anything on my side extra settings at all it's just it's just gone and i think that's probably the most amazing thing about this and i think in one improvement that they can do to this is not just because this is used in live mode but if you could apply rtx voice to your video after you're done with it i think that would be the most amazing part because once you apply it afterwards you're able to shoot a video that's noisy and it'll just process it and clean up for you and it'll be done. That's something I want to see NVIDIA allow us to do later on when they obviously make sure this RTX voice is the best possible product that they can have. But I think it's already pretty good as of right now. That's pretty much it for today. And thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe down below if you guys want to see more videos. And I'll see you guys next time.